Salesforce CPQ for high tech and subscription management allows us to build out intricate packages of product so that we can transform those into contracts that are managed on the Salesforce platform. So through Revenue Cloud, which is made up of both CPQ and Salesforce billing, we'll take a look into our account MasterSolve. MasterSolve is a longstanding customer of ours, and they have just contacted us about a new opportunity for the Smart Bytes Enterprise Bundle. So we are going to create a new opportunity for them. And we are going to close this out at the end of August. We're going to go straight to the proposal price quote because they're, they're asking for that right now. I'm going to call it demo opportunity for smart bytes bundle. And we are going to save that. Next, we'll navigate to the opportunity and you can see that all that information already came straight over and click new quote. As easy as the click of a button, the primary contact is Sean. And we'll put that at the 27th. It's also a primary quote. Perfect. So two records were created in less than five minutes, just to show you how easy it is. Here is where the magic of CPQ really comes into play through the quote line editor. Guided selling helps your reps if you have a large catalog of products and you want to make sure that you are guiding your reps to the correct product. Guided selling helps you identify those questions that need to be answered. So we are going to suggest because we're looking for that complete data solution. And right here, the first one we want is the complete solution for the Smart Bytes bundle. We're going to click select. And from here, this is where we're going to do all of our product configuration. So this has been set up within Salesforce CPQ to be able to make some features and products a must here and some give you more of an option, which can all be set up for you in Salesforce CPQ. So we're just going to make a few changes here. We're going to add discover disaster recovery. We are going to add a security operations plan and product through IT operations. I am going to uncheck pay data plan and go to unlimited. I'll keep real time alerts. We should be set for IT ops for services. We're going to do the fundamentals training and we're going to do the quick start enablement as well as the professional services project management daily right here below. So that's for my ongoing professional services. And I will do the premier success plan. Once I hit save, it's going to bundle all those pieces together. As we see here now, the total comes down to about $43,220. If I wanted to have an additional discount on my whole order, I could put in 10 here, calculate, and it's going to give me an okay. Now, if I put something a little bit more extreme, like 20, these are going to need to go through a management approval process. So we'll keep this at 10. And let's say I, this is at now a little bit above 40,000. What if I want all this to come down to just 40,000? Now it's going to discount even further. Yep, it's going to give me, it's going to pretty much leave me at just that 40,000. So with all this here now, let's take a look at our options on the side. So if we look at, let's just say, our anomaly detection product, we can view pricing guidance. So what pricing guidance 
gives us is an idea of how much we should discount this based on Einstein discovery and Einstein insights. It allows us to understand if we need to price this down, what is that target price? What is a normal discount price for this? And what is the maximum price that we can discount this? We'll accept that recommendation. And for any monthly subscription projects, products that you are selling within your bundle, you are going to be able to look at that consumption schedule. And the great thing about Salesforce CPQ is that you can integrate through a third party or upload those monthly logins and that consumption schedule and those metrics themselves within CPQ so that we can more accurately get the true price as they are being invoiced every month. So here, it's a very simple monthly login slab based tiering, one to 101, zero price above 101, $5 per login. So very easy to understand that here. And then at the same time, if I want to reconfigure the lines for the complete solution, I'm able to do that through this wrench piece right here. So very easy to get up and started with Salesforce CPQ. All of this is here. It's going to be included within the same quote. But if I wanted to add a different group, say that these are going to different locations or a different payment will be made for each of these, I have the ability to add a group here to separate them based upon certain attributes, based upon price, based upon the discount that I'm giving them. And then from here, I'll preview approvals. I see that no approvals need to be made, but we'll see what that looks like when approvals do need to be made in just a second here. Perfect. So I just talked to finance and they want me to make this a net 90 date instead of a net 30 contract. So I'm going to change the payment terms and click save. Now, since we're doing this, they now need our approval. So if I preview approval, I'm now going to need that additional approval. So I'm going to submit. And what this is going to do on the back end is this is going to route this to Bill Joel, who is going to be signing off on this. So as you can see, we now have this approve reject and we are going to approve this for the sake of this demo approve now once that's done we can generate this document and we're just going to include that quote document and so what we're going to be able to do here is we can preview and then we'll be able to send this with docusign or send with our e-signature tool of choice so here's our quote preview, and you will be able to see that our line items have been generated on this quote. So very easy to generate a quote on the CPQ platform. So I'll click send with DocuSign next. So there it will be, it will now be in my inbox. So if I go to my email, I should be seeing a DocuSign document here with all of those line items included. Now going back to our original opportunity, we'll navigate back there. We're gonna mark this as closed one. And we are also going to check the checkbox for new order. So we're going to click this checkbox. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring all of our product line items from this opportunity to an order. So as you can see, all of it's already matching the order. And then from here, this is what I had alluded to before, entering usage information for this product for monthly logins. 
So like I said before, this can be for from a third party integration, an Excel document, or just manual entries. From here, we're going to skip activated and we're just going to go to contracted. So what this will do is this will create a contract which sets this agreement in place. And this is all based off of the order object, but this contract will also roll up to the account. From account, we'll mark as renewal forecasted. And that is Salesforce CPQ. That is the power you saw us work all the way from that phone call with our customer to opportunity, to quote, to generating a document via that quote, to order, to contract. All of this can be done within one single platform using Salesforce.